What is up, guys? Geeky the Tango here, coming at you with two, that's right, two Loyal Subjects Masters of the Universe blind boxes. So as you saw in the other video, we opened up one and we got a Beast Man. And I really, you know, I really liked the character. I thought it was cool. It was uh, fun to play with in addition to just displaying. It articulated great. It had some nice accessories. So hoping to get another cool character out of this. Definitely have some of my favorites like Trap Jaw, Evil Lynn, the uh, the Black Anti Attorney, a He Man here would be cool. But um, really, I'd like the whole set. So, would like any of them. And looking forward to a season two or series two uh, if it comes out. So, let me just raccoon rip this box open here because I forgot to cut the tape. And if I can even. There we go. Let's check this one out. So these all come foil sealed, which is, uh, you know, not to sound weird, but it kind of adds to the excitement for me, really. I like the, the sealed foil packaging inside. It adds some kind of a premium quality to these, so I like that a lot. And we learned last time this actually has a little tear right here. We'll give it a little bit of the magic mojo. And we have a trap jaw. Awesome. One of my absolute favorite characters from the original series in the 80s. Um, one of Skeletor's coolest henchmen. Wasn't the brightest, but was definitely awesome. Especially with all the different things that he could do with his arm. Um, but again, same thing here. Same quality, guys. These are slightly rubbery. They have a lot of articulation. Even this guy's jaw moves. That's cool. Head swivels slightly. So this arm rotates. The legs are in ball joints. Great detail. Love the belt. Love the shin guard armor. A lot of nice detail on these subject loyal subjects figures here for Masters of the Universe. So again, the hands rotate on this, so you can have the weapons posed in different ways. Looks like on the back of the belt there. Spot where you can hang some of the other utility pieces. Very, very cool. You can rotate the feet, so you can pose it just right. And it even has the, uh, what's that for in this helmet? A grappling hook. It goes zip lining. So very cool trap jaw. And here it came with a uh, few accessories that go on his arm there. You can slot in. So it looks like there's three pieces. And... Raccoon this open as well. I'll try. And... Got it. I think I got... Alright. Okay. We got him out, guys. Okay, so we'll start with the hook. Classic. We have what looks like kind of a, a clamp or a saw here that he can use to grab or cut onto things. And of course, his laser cannon or his uh, his blaster, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go with the hook, try to get it in here. And wow, so this is, this is a pretty tight fit. And... Yeah, I'm doing it right. So maybe you just gotta really, really push it in here. All right, there it goes. So it definitely took some force, but that's not coming out easy. So that's good. Awesome. Very, very cool. The 
This guy definitely has a place in my favorites in my office, so. Psyched that we got this guy. Anything else we get in the next package is a bonus for me, quite honestly. Alright, Trap Jaw. Let's see who you brought with you. Again, the box art on these are very cool. Love the Castle Grayskull picture there. So let me raccoon this one open. And just rip the box since I can't open it neatly. Check out our cool foil. It gets me all excited. Masters in the Universe, very cool. And get some of the magic going. And we have a He-Man. The man himself. Hey, random thought here, guys, while we're looking at this. But how awesome would a Battle Cat figure be that would come with the full armor set that you can take on and off of Cringer? That would be amazing. But, um, yeah. Very cool, nice detail on him. Love that they kept it real classic with the battle armor. Arms and hands rotate. And the, uh, the head swivels on this pretty well. legs at the joint move and it looks like even the uh yeah, the feet move on this as well but even the waist so you can really pose these like they're swinging their swords and whatnot very cool let's check out his accessories and it looks like these are the classic accessories these are the same accessories that came in the original he-man when you bought it back in the early 80s so we have He-Man's shield. The battle axe, which I always thought was super cool. Um, didn't use it that much in the cartoons, but looked awesome. And of course, the power sword of Grayskull. So, let's go ahead and get him set up here. The weapon would go in his right hand. And, yeah, that's a tight fit too. This is not easy to get in. Hmm. You know what? Let's start with the shield. In the left hand here, and nice. All right, that already looks very cool. Let's go with the ax with the battle axe since we think it's awesome anyway. We can put the sword of power in his little sword holder here on the back of his armor. Just like I did with my little action figure in the 80s. And now we'll get the battle axe on there and be ready to go. And come on. Alright. Nice. He looks awesome. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and Defender of the Secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Geeky the Tango, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft this magic axe and said, By the power of gr Hey, this trap jaw, what are you doing? I am- Hey, I am Luke Skywalker. Look at my hand was cut off. <laughs> Get out of here. What are you- Hey, look, I'm Captain Hook. <laughs> trap jaw, dude, come on. Hey, I'm McGruff, the crime dog. Take a bite out of crime. <laughs> Dude, come on. You're in my... Get out. 